Hey, what's up you guys? It's Kanisha. Welcome back to my channel. So if you are new here, welcome. If you're not new, then welcome back. Typically on my channel, I like talking about luxury bags, lifestyle, and mindset, how to afford all this fun stuff. If you are into that content, then I hope you like and subscribe and you stay tuned for more. All right, so today I wanted to talk a little bit about two of my favorite bags right now, the Diane and all of my bags, you guys, I say that about all my bags. All of the bags that I have right now are my favorites. And if you're not a favorite, I let you go. So that just happened recently. I let go of one of my bags and I wanted to talk about some bags that I'm interested that are on the horizon coming up using these two bags. I just wanted to give a quick shout out to all my subscribers. I wanted to give a shout out to all of you viewers who are out there watching and following along this new journey that I'm undertaking. Like I just had to express to you all how blown away I am by all of you. Just the support and the love and the encouragement is, has been phenomenal. It's been amazing. I have felt the love. I have felt the warmth. Thank you. Thank you all so much. It means the world to me to know that I have that support, which is the reason why I keep coming back and I'm trying to produce content that I'm hoping is working for you. The way that I know it's working for you is when you all are giving me the thumbs up and you continue subscribing. So please keep doing that so that I know it should keep going. And thank you for helping me grow to this point. I really appreciate it. So, all right, you guys, like, let's get into this video. Anyway, so I wanted to come on here and talk about these two bags because the Ivy Walk is in my sights. And if it's in your sight, then maybe this video will be of interest to you. So the first bag I'm gonna talk a little bit about when it comes to the Ivy Walk today is the Diane because I think this bag is most similar to the Ivy Walk because of the flap shape. This is the Diane and then we'll talk about the Ivy Walk and then we'll talk about the toiletry on chain all by Louis Vuitton. So this Diane bag, first of all, does not come with the strap that you see here today, my folding pouch. It's because this is the kind of strap that the Ivy Walk comes with. And I figured I should really take a look at whether or not I'm gonna like and appreciate the design of that bag, given that I have a similar bag already. And the straps that the Diane comes with, it comes with this pink guitar strap, and it also comes with this shorter Vachetta shoulder strap. I love, I think they are very similar in length. They're very similar in height. And I think the Ivy Walk might be just a little bit smaller in depth. They're very similar overall. The other thing that I liked about the Diane that the Ivy does not have is the Diane has a back pocket and it can fit your full size phone if that's what you want. The other thing that the Diane has most notably that the Ivy Walk does not have is all of this beautiful Vachetta trim. That is the reason why I think most people are probably turned off or a little bit like taken aback by the Ivy Walk is it's very under the radar. There's not a, a lot of pop and fizzle and party happening on the Ivy Walk. It's just a nice, plain, neutral monogram flavor that you're gonna get. You're not even gonna get a buckle on the front to close it. But I actually really appreciate that simple design. I like simple designs because I feel like these are the kind of bags that, you know, I'm going to wear this out today to go to the dentist. I'm taking my kids, I'm picking my kids up from school, I'm taking them to the dentist. I feel like this is a really good way for me to personally run around with this bag cross body. And I'll show you what this looks like on me cross body. But I had already tried it on cross body as well as on my shoulder and it was super comfortable depending on what the ivy walk can hold and fit i felt like with that bag and with this strap it was going to be very comfortable now this strap is very thin and i am very comfortable cross body even because the weight of the bag just really rests nicely on your front or on your side so felt like on my shoulder the weight of the bag it wasn't letting this it wasn't too heavy but it also wasn't slipping off my shoulder i really can't stand when the shoulder straps slide off my shoulder but i wasn't experiencing that with this strap at all i never experienced this bag slipping off my shoulder with the shoulder strap which i absolutely love and i also felt like because the ivy walk was coming not only with a long adjustable strap it was coming with a gold strap 
that it will look beautiful as well with the fascetta strap if that's what I wanted to do was switch it up. And it would also fit pretty much the things that I have inside my Diane, hopefully it would fit inside the Ivy Walk. So I figured we would take a look at what's inside my Diane so that we could see whether or not these things would fit in the Ivy Walk. So what's inside my bag is my essentials. And I already said that my phone is still gonna fit on, in the back. So in here, I have my Hermes card holder. It holds my gift cards. My other card holder, which just holds my essential cards. My mini pochette with the giraffes that holds some of my essentials. And my son's wallet, because when I'm picking him up later, he asked me to bring his wallet for him and remember to bring his wallet. <laughs> my car keys, my lip balm in the side my AirPods. I like that the Diane has another zip interior, as does the Ivy Walk. The Ivy Walk is going to have card slots as well as a zip interior. So for me personally, what I would probably not be using if I was using those card slots would be the little card holder. So it would be really interesting to me if everything else could fit inside the Ivy Walk, including my phone. That would make a really great under the radar bag for me personally when I'm running around with my kids. If I'm running around to a basketball game, I don't wanna necessarily take my Diane bag because it's really gonna be popping. As well as if I'm running around and it's raining outside, the thing about the Ivy Walk is there's less fascetta and I have the Pochette Matisse bag, so I would just use the Pochette Matisse monogram strap to use with that bag. I just think there's a lot of flexibility and variety and functionality in the Ivy Walk to really appreciate in such a little under the radar bag. Those are the kind of style bags that I appreciate the most. And speaking of little under the radar bags, now we can talk a little bit about the toiletry on chain. I think this is another under the radar bag. I'm encouraging y'all not to sleep on this. If you are considering the Ivy Walk, then this is another one that you should definitely put into the rotation for consideration. We'll get another added bonus piece now when it comes to prices the diane bag costs 23.70 who knows if louis vuitton is going to raise the price on this but i could foresee it going up if that's going to be one of those bags the ivy walk is the same price as the toiletry on chain 17.60 so again if you're going to spring for the ivy walk then you should also take into consideration the toiletry on chain for the same reason, if you're gonna spring for the Ivy Walk, then definitely take into consideration the Diane because they're similar in nature. And if the Ivy Walk is in your consideration as your first Louis Vuitton bag, I don't think you can go wrong. It's one of those classic starters that if you think back to the favorite from long time ago, the Eva clutch from long time ago, the toiletry pouch from long time ago, I think it's right up there with one of those starter bags. The price is starter price, no, because it's $17.60, but at this point with Louis Vuitton, it is what it is with the pricing. So we definitely just have to save for what we want so that we're playing defense and offense when we're ready. When those opportunities pop up, we are ready for them. When it comes to the Ivy Walk and when it comes to the Diane, these are all pretty similar in length, okay? They're all pretty much the same length. I think the Ivy Walk and the Diane are gonna be about the same length. As you can see with the toiletry on chain, it's a little bit longer than the Diane, but not by much, maybe by like half a centimeter, but you can clearly see that it has a much wider base. And the Ivy Walk, I believe, would have a little bit of a wider base than the toiletry on chain as well. Being able to fit the T15. And then typically I also like to fit, I also like to fit my mini pochette in there. It has this side pocket, I'm able to fit my phone. That's typically how it works for me in the T26 and what fits inside. And what I would imagine with the Ivy Walk is I would be able to fit my phone in that front zipper and then I would fit everything else that I want inside the bag. So thank you so much for tuning in. If you have made it this far, I hope you've liked and subscribed by now. Go over and check me out on Instagram and follow me there and come back and see me in the next one. If you're with me to the end, until the next time.
that's what the two colors are and if you are into eyeliner i'm not into a lot of makeup but i love eyeliner and so if you're into eyeliner and you're looking for one of the eyeliners i'm giving away one cassis i'm giving away one vert emerald